Hey guys, Jared Trunks, 21 here. So I know it's been a little while since we recorded a, uh, I would say a vlog or a pre-recorded vlog and everything. Uh, we've been doing live streams for every day for the last couple of weeks now, except for when things come up that just take too much, uh, too much time to deal with. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my blanket. Blanket, as you guys know, I am on my bed. Uh, and my arm is sore, so I'm just keeping it warm and everything. Um, but uh, I thought I'd tell you guys this. Uh, we're gonna stop doing that. Not very professional, as you guys can tell, because this isn't gonna get edited. I don't edit my vlogs; they don't get edited. So, yesterday, which would have been Monday for you guys watching this when it goes up live, um, Texas Sunday for me, was our first Fallout 4 video, and it, you guys kind of jumped into the middle of it just right as I got into an interesting part to start recording, and I apologize for that, but I wanted to show you guys a contrast of it where the first Fallout 4 video you're going to see is with just Fallout 4 weapons, weapons you can get in the base game. And then after that you'll see the non-Fallout 4 game weapons, which are mods that I have installed. And you guys can tell me which you prefer. Anyways, I wanted to get into this with you guys and talk to you guys a little bit more about what is... Uh, I wanted to get you guys a good vlog. So I was watching a uh, another YouTuber, and let me get his name. He is called Mike the Cop. And the reason I'm referencing him is because, as you guys know, my end goal is to become a, a law enforcement officer because I like I like it. I like to I like everything involving with being a law enforcement officer. I love to help people. Um, that's kind of why I did this for a long period of time, a, uh, law enforcement explorer. Um, now as a law enforcement explorer, I get asked a lot of stupid shit, I get, uh, I get, people always come up and ask the stupidest things, and it's really fucking annoying, and, well, I guess this is my 12 pet peeves. A lot of them are repetitive. So let's get into this with number one. Number one is going to be, oh, you're a law enforcement explorer? What's that? I understand it's not very well known, but it's annoying to get asked this. And I've, I've done this before where I've introduced myself because I'm wearing this shirt with a badge on it and people go, are you a cop? No, I'm not a cop. I'm a law enforcement explorer. There's a big difference. One, I have no powers of arrest. Two, but when I was an explorer, I actually am not anymore. I am a aide to the program, meaning I assist in training. Two, they don't let us carry guns. I mean, we get to during training, we get a, you know, when we actually do firearms stuff, firearms training, we get to have a gun, but other than that, no. Um... So, it's really annoying to get asked, Hey, you're ex what's an explorer? Well, jackass, we're kind of like mini cops. We're... Think of us as Boy Scouts, but better. Because we don't have to get merit badges. We don't have to do all this bullshit that the Boy Scouts have to. We are chartered through the same company that handles Boy Scouts Learning for Life. And, um, it's, it's actually a really good program. Um, so it, it's really annoying to get asked, what's an explorer? I have no problem answering it. I will tell you all day long and twice on Sunday. But when I tell your buddy and then you come walking up and you, I can tell you've heard this conversation because you are five feet away. You're not even five feet away. You're standing right next to me. I can feel you breathing down my neck. And I turn around to go get something, go get something to drink, and you're like, what's an explorer? It's like, dude, I want to crack you over the head. I, I really do. It pisses me off. when you And you, you're either being a smart ass, or you legitimately did not pay attention, and that's just going to piss me off. Two, 
do you know cop so-and-so? You know officer so-and-so or lieutenant so-and-so or captain so-and-so? Nine times out of ten, unless you're an explorer with a very small department, you don't know who they're talking about. I am an ex I was an explorer for a very large police department, Fayetteville, North Carolina, a.k.a. the city that almost edged out Raleigh for the capital of North Carolina. The department is really massive. And someone says, oh, do you all know Officer Smithson? No, I don't know Officer Smithson. Why would I know him? I go to the next meet. Hey, who's Officer Smithson? Oh, he's on Cross Creek. He works retired duty. Well, that explains why I don't know him. I spend most of my time with Central District. Or Campbellton. Not Cross Creek. And it, it pisses me off that people will ask me this. Do you know Captain Davy? Yes, I know Captain Davy. He's a captain. I probably met him at something. Do I know his name? Hell no. You show me a photo of him, I probably will recognize him. Because if I've seen his face, it's... It's right there. Three. And this is where it gets repetitive. Do you know... My mommy was caught doing X, Y, and Z. What kind of defense does she have? Well, friend, um... As I just said, I'm an explorer. Not a cop. Not a lawyer, not a prosecutor, not a judge. I don't know all the laws. I know some of them. You know what one law I learned as an explorer the most? North Carolina General Statute 14-51. I don't know. It's in my binder. I can't quote the actual general statute now. But it is the use of force policy written in law. It is use of force law. And that's because we spent like two months drilling that into our heads. So yeah, I know that. Any other law that I know, I learned through community college. So yeah, don't don't come asking me stuff like, oh hey, what's what's the law on if you're driving drunk and you got a firearm and, it, and it's loaded, you know, and, and, and you accidentally crack off around through the windshield. <laughs> well, jackass, you just did negligent discharge of a firearm. It's right there in the question you asked. What was that, number three or number four? I don't know. Fuck it. Next pet peeve. So, the next one pertains solely to firearms law. People love to ask me these, and, you know, I'm happy to answer some of them. Hey, in North Carolina, can I carry my gun? How old are you? I'm 18. What gun are you carrying? Uh, a 50 Desert Eagle. Well, friend, one, I do believe you are not allowed to own a firearm, a, a pistol at the age of 18. Now, I might be wrong, it's a little bit of a gray area, but uh, you're not supposed to legally own a, fire, a pistol until you're 21 years old. You cannot go buy a pistol until you're 21. You can't even buy pistol ammunition until you're 21. So, I mean, you can carry a gun all you want. You can carry a pistol at 18, openly, in the state of North Carolina. That was wrote by what I've been told. That was wrote so you could carry your, so your kid could carry. You can, you as the parent can carry the gun, and your son can carry the gun openly to the gun range and not get in any trouble. Uh, the next is always the weirdest question, and it's more or less. It's actually not even a question. It's, I bet you get invited to a lot of parties. No, I don't. You know what else? No one really comes to my parties either. It's really annoying to get told that. They find out you're an explorer and they're like, Oh, I, be I bet you don't get invited to parties. Why? Why do you think I don't get invited to parties? Is it because I'm antisocial? That's a good reason. Because I'm an explorer? Not really. You know, with explorers, the only policy is I'm not supposed to do anything illegal. I don't have to report illegal things I see. Most explorers will, but 
Some of us don't. Uh, there's numerous house parties going on at my old house. In the block of my old house. Do you think I call the cops every time? Hell no. It's not worth the time. Why would I call the cops and waste their time and my time? When there's just going to be another party in two weeks. Will I call the cops if it's something major like the one time I did? And it was drag racing down a major road? People were going like 100 mile an hour? Oh yeah, I'll call the cops for that. That's dangerous. But a house party? Pfft. Don't do anything really dangerous. Hell shit, you smoke weed, I don't give a fuck. That brings us to the next question. Do you mind if I smoke weed? I don't care. In an official capacity? Yeah, weed's illegal. I don't like it. I don't do anything illegal. Do I care as a civilian if you smoke weed? As long as you ain't buying it from a drug dealer. Or you ain't buying it from a gang that's going to use that money to hurt other people. You buy it from your buddy who grows it in his backyard in a pile of pig shit? I don't give a fuck. That's the thing. As long as no one's getting hurt and that money ain't going to hurt anyone, I don't give a shit. As a civilian, that is. Next question. And this is my favorite. What gun do you guys carry? Well, sir, as an explorer, I don't carry a gun. Not legally allowed to. Um, because most explorers are not 21 years old. They can't carry a gun in government work. It's illegal. What do I carry as a civilian? Well, nothing except a pocket knife right now because I don't have my concealed carry permit. There you go. Um, and our last question, and this goes for anyone who's done any kind of law enforcement training or if you're a cop, a excuse me, a deputy sheriff uh, or a police explorer. Traffic detail is the most annoying thing ever. Now, I've done it a couple times, and I fucking hated it. You get asked the stupidest shit. I give this example. I've never had this happen, but I give this example because this is the example they gave me during my day of training for traffic detail. The road could be on fire, a tornado could be down that road, and a big-ass tree down, the ro down in the middle of the road, and someone will pull up and be like, Can I go down that road? And every time I tell people this, I'm like, you know what, one of these days I'm just going to say, yeah, go ahead. If you find a way to get through that road safely, you call me. We got some money for you. <laughs> Look, if the road is closed, it's closed for a reason. Do not go down it. You're risking your safety. And by extent, if you get stuck or hurt, now we have to come get you and we risk our safety. And when we risk our safety, that takes people away from the other people that need help. Why are you not reading? The sign clearly says, closed. Let's play a little game, guys. You want to go into Walmart? Okay, let's go to Walmart. Go to, go to Walmart. You see a big sign across the door saying, closed. The doors are locked. You can't get in. What does that mean? It means you can't go in there, jackass. So there's are some of my pet peeves. I have quite a few others. Uh, people not liking the video. People not sharing the video. People not commenting. Um, Sullivan hogging up my... So, so, Sullivan being here and staying up all night. That, that's a pet peeve. Roger crying in his cage. My niece going up to complete and total strangers and saying I don't like you. I have a lot of pet peeves. Might warn another video, another vlog. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this on my pet peeves. Please do not get on my bad side. I, I have a... There's pet peeves and then there's points where I will just straight up tell you you're a fucking idiot. That'll be another video for later. Nah. Well, yeah, it probably will be. It'll probably be Thursday's vlog. So the scheduling is Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be our edited Fallout content. Monday, 
And Friday will be Fallout 4, and Wednesday will be the New Vegas, because I, I, I want to separate them. And Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday will be vlogs. And you'll also get a live stream on Saturdays. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We also may have an office. May not. I don't know yet. Depends on what all happens. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you don't fall into the latter part of my pet peeves. Leave a like. Comment. Share. Hell, dislike the video if you didn't like it. If you think I'm a jackass, tell me. I can add you to the list. There's a there's like a list somewhere over here full of people that think I'm a jackass. Intent. I take great pride when people tell me I'm a jackass. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Or if you didn't, dislike. Comment down below. Tell me some of your pet peeves. Or call me a jackass. Um, no shoutouts for anyone because no one's done anything to warn a shout out. So, uh, yeah. If you guys want a shout out, do something that's worth it. I'll see you guys next time.